good afternoon, Rob, or maybe good morning to you. It's lovely to see you, President of the American Bakers Association wow. and supporting headline sponsor of the Tipsy World Bread Awards USA. Great to see you. How are Likewise, you? Likewise, Carolyn, it's wonderful to see you. I'm, I'm doing well, thank you, all things considered. Um, we're doing well and uh, we're adapting to whatever this new environment is called. Fantastic. Well, as you know, Rob, we've had to move activities online this year. So instead of being in New York in the fall and judging all those beautiful and delicious smelling loaves, we're celebrating bread heroes because I think, you know, there are lots of really heartwarming stories from around um, the USA about people who've gone the extra miles. I just wonder, what does a bread hero mean to you? Carolyn, that is a fantastic question. Um, and it's something that, that we have been amazed and awed by uh, really going back to the middle of March. Um, for, for me, a bread hero, a bakery hero, is those folks um, that are unsung heroes. They show up and have been showing up every day uh, to make these great products uh, that help to keep our peace fed and our country fed. Um, and so it's the folks that, you know, that leave their home every day, uh, knowing that there's this uh, uncertainty, uh, there's the, the pandemic going on, uh, but knowing that their the baker is trying to do everything they can to protect them and keep them as safe as they possibly can. But they come to work every day to either make the product, you know, whether they're a mixer or uh, an operator, you know, or whether they're a dist distribution. Uh, so they're, they're driving the truck. And, and to be honest with you, those are the folks um, that were really on the front lines um, every single day because they're the folks that had to interact directly with customers. If they were going into a shop or a retail grocery store, you know, they were interfacing with customers every day um, and in, in a very uncertain environment. But I would, it's also, it's the ingredient suppliers who were able to ramp up the production um, and make sure that we had the flour and the salt and the yeast, all the things to make those wonderful products that we all know and love. You know, they, made, they need to make sure that they were able to serve, you know, you know twice, three times as much uh, volume um, and then I would say also um, the way our equipment manufacturers, the folks that make the mixers, that make the ovens, you know, the conveying systems, um, whatever the equipment was, uh, to switch very quickly to like a virtual service and troubleshooting model. I mean, those, they're all heroes in my book and, and we recognized them very early on here in the United States. And we did everything that we could as an industry to lift them up. We, we did videos saying, thank you. Um, we worked with different government, uh, min uh, we call them secretaries. I think you call them ministers. Uh, we worked with the Minister of Agriculture and the head of our Food and Drug Administration um, and ask them to produce videos just to say thank you for showing up for work every day and keeping our country fed. Do you know, that's the most amazing answer to my question, Rob. Thank you so much. I found that very moving, actually. You've really touched me and some really standout words like uncertainty, because uncertainty yes. is almost more terrifying than anything, isn't it? So beautifully yes. put. So tell me, um, now what are you looking forward to seeing in the nominations? So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, some of those people that, that we can, you know, really hold up. Um, and, and a lot of times we've had conversations, I, I go back to um, the driver that's getting the product to, again, to a cafe, to a store, whatever it is. Um, and, you know, the, they're, they're kind of our unsung heroes. They're, they're kind of in the background in normal times. Um, but I'm looking forward to being able to identify who those people are uh, with that passion and, and dedication that we can lift up as an industry um, and, and tell their story um, about what they have done um, in their local community. Um, and we've, we've tried to do that a little bit, but I think, it's, I think what you're doing is just phenomenally important uh, that we can hold these people up. And, and it's similar to, um, and, and, and I'm not trying to compare the two, but it's our doctors and nurses, um, our, our first responders um, that have been literally on the front lines of the pandemic. Um, 
it, I would like to see us as an industry recognize our heroes similar than uh, the way we have recognized our healthcare heroes. Absolutely. I totally, totally agree. And I think one of the defining characteristics of these amazing bread heroes is their modesty. They don't think they've done anything special. Yes. No, you're absolutely right, Carolyn. We hear that over and over again. You know, I'm just doing my job. Um, and, and yet, when we talk to bakers all over the country, uh, the one thing that we hear is how awestruck they are by these very humble uh, people in our industry um, and how passionate they are and how strongly they feel that dedication uh, to, again, they're feeding their neighbors um, and great bread products and other bakery products. I mean, they're feeding their neighbors and, and they have really embraced that. And, you know, sometimes I think, you know, we think about it, um, but until an event like this occurs, to see it in action every single day, um, it's just, it, it's awe inspiring. And at least it is for me. I completely agree. And now just a little bit more locally, uh, Rob, I know that you're always up to exciting things at the American Bakers Association. So just tell me, how have you coped and adapted in these challenging times? Well, it's, um, it's been a bit of a challenge to say the least. It, Part honestly, Carolyn, because we have never been in this situation before. And, you know, as we've said time and time again, we're, we're changing the ground rules, you know, early on back in March and April um, and into May, we were changing the ground rules hourly, it seemed like, you know. Um, and so what we have done, um, and I'm very, very proud of the leadership of ABA, our executive committee, our entire professional staff team, we rallied around two very important missions. The first mission was to keep our members operational um, so that they could continue to feed the country. The second mission was the companies um, that were struggling, and, and unfortunately there's way too many of them that are struggling because of their business design or, or simply their communities where they've been really hard hit. Uh, we're trying to do every thing, single thing that we can to help them out, you know, whether it's through government assistance, whether it's matching them up with maybe bakers that could use some capacity, maybe re help them work, you know, rework their supply chain. None of these things are easy. Um, and, and I would say that, um, you know, the team has done a great job. The, the executive committee from day one told us exactly what our mission should be and everything else has gone away, but it's that clarity of mission um, that I think has allowed us to be as helpful as we absolutely can. Fantastic. Well, we're very proud to be associated with you, Rob, and, you know, keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carolyn. To see you. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you for doing this. I mean, this is a, a great project. I applaud you um, and your group for doing this and holding up these heroes. Um, what's been really gratifying is this isn't a US, it's not a European, it's not a UK issue. Um, in conversations, matter of fact, just this morning, I had a conversation with Gordon Polson, who heads up the UK Baking Federation. And I've been trying to talk to, um, you know, sort of my peers and colleagues from around uh, the world and we've all been so impressed with how our members have sort of risen to this challenge, pardon the expression, um, during these very difficult times. And, and I just think it's an, such a great opportunity what you're doing to hold up the folks on the front lines that are, that are making a difference every day in so many communities all over the world. Thank you, Rob. Well, we feel very privileged to, to hold that mirror up to their amazing work. Lovely to see Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Stay safe. Take care. You too. Bye-bye.